now. Okay, hello, I'm Pascal. I will be your pro meter for today and I'm gonna give you a little introduction what actually I'm doing when I look into your hands. So uh, there are always two maps that are available for me. Uh, the one is uh, about all the lines, finger, thumb, shape, and all these uh, tells me about, uh, about your character and each line, each part is a part of you and then I connect this together and I see how they play together with each other or do they attract or distract each other so I see the dynamic of your personality, of your character and this I'm gonna thread with the fingerprints, this is the other map that is available for me and this map is a dynamic that never change so and they are already five months prior to birth they are already there and there I can see actually the dynamic of your soul and there I can see the life purpose of human beings and the life lesson that's the least evolved skill where usually we mess up in life or we try to hide or we just act in a funny way so uh, the interaction between fingerprints and the rest of the hands this is what I'm gonna looking for and so uh, we we'll see what gonna come up out of your combination and uh, let's start with the first question what would you say is your biggest talent your strength and there um, my eyes goes uh, into the upper part of the hands and there I see, you see all up it's straight, they are all straight line, boof, boof, all straight, up, 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 up. And there is the most energy, they are high and strong and this gives me an information when people are straight here, they have a, a really good quality to make things precise so it has to match so now it's perfect no it's not perfect here that's a millimeter now it's good so uh, in the best you can present high quality whatever you do it has to be the best it has to be um, exact and precise and the negative of that is uh, that uh, when it is not like this, um, uh, yeah, you you show a kind of uh, um, disappointment, and you can push people to do it again and again, and maybe they want to be happy too much, and uh, and uh, the other thing, what is a negative side, that. Um, when it's so straight that you for yourself you create a kind of a very strong critical voice against you and uh, so uh, can you be also easy for yourself you don't have to be perfect life don't have to be perfect how how you react when things doesn't happen how you want that things happened so can you still be easy on it uh, how you react when mistakes happen in life can you react easy on it question mark so the more you can the better for you the less you can uh, that's the reason because there is all straight and what comes in is uh, the upper of uh, the apollo finger there comes a creative eye within you we call this the architect or uh, it's about um, a technical thing, a photograph, whatever. It's precise creativity and uh, to explore everything uh, in an in a exact way. So this is a part where I would say that's a strength for you. And uh, the hand shape uh, we call this the loyal soldier. This is a combination of air and earth. I have that too. 
and uh, so we pursue our our idea we are going on our track it's like being on a on a main road and the main road doesn't go left or right we just follow our follow our road and we continue and continue we don't stop we continue and continue until we reach so that's a big strength for you that um, you go you go and go and go until you're there and uh, and try always to do the best thing in, in, in your work life so this hand is built to work and uh, so this is a yeah, strong tool but when I look into your hand um, I see for example this line is, uh, is large in the middle there is a, a white spot and the thumb is a little bit weak in the middle all these tells me in a way that um, your life went straight, you did your work, everything went straight but can you also sometimes to go off the road and to have a break and uh, to enjoy life and when I see in your hands the ha this hand looks for me a little bit tired and uh, but you have a big responsibility so uh, this uh, can't let you off the main road and, uh, and just have a walk in, into space and time for nothing. So this is a little bit a question mark for me at the moment. Uh, can, you, can, can you get off the main road and, uh, and not just uh, work and do everything perfect in life? So, uh, how would people describe you emotionally in a relationship? There I see two parts in you. When I look into the right hand, in the right hand, there I see um, something completely different what I was talking before. In the right hand I see a very soft inside of you, a caring, nurturing, one we call these uh, caring, loving and nurturing, sharing and there I see uh, a part of you that is really really responsible for everybody needs and, uh, and makes you makes you soft, makes you warm, makes you um, there's a side of female quality can make you passive and uh, this is the hand who who loves uh, this is the heart line who wants to be together with a woman wants to uh, to have a nice weekend with the woman and sharing time together and uh, and not and not to work so uh, can you get off the main road and have more time for love life because this hand would like to be more in connection with people and not just only with working people also yeah in relationship so uh, uh, but I have a little bit of question mark if uh, that sometimes you say well I'm coming at five but then it's at nine and, uh, <laughs> and, and your woman is waiting and uh, yeah sorry and you but you still bring flower at home because uh, yeah, you have you f you feel guilty then, uh, but you try always the best to do, and um, and this is also a little bit an issue in your hands that you try to please too many people, and uh, you just one person, and there you try to make for everybody right in the work in the private life, and at the end uh, you get maybe then complaints from the people. Even you try so hard to please everybody, and there you are alone and working and and try always yeah to do for everybody good and uh, so uh, even yeah there is a, a part I wanna go for what are yeah this is what are some themes that shows up as a personal challenge or weakness in your life. And I think that's the, the part when I go now into the fingerprints. 
we see there the energy when we see so many worlds this is the energy of service of giving and uh, and the lesson the least evolved skill this is the left middle finger we call this saturn it is this one and I, in one sense i say feeling guilty to say no to other people so pleasing and uh, and sharing so i don't feel i don't need to um, yeah to feel guilty and uh, with the energy before it can it can drive you in, in, into a corner where you um, try too much to be okay for everybody and if someone doesn't feel okay because yeah you came too late or whatever this is a thing we could trigger you so uh, can you make decision out of yourself what feels good for you even if you feel guilty and you have to say no because you feel like no and not just to say yes because the other ones the other one wants to hear a yes from you and there there is a challenge um, um, a tension inside you when it comes up to disappoint other people and there uh, there is the growth factor for you to to um, hold maybe disappointment from others and not to take it too personal keep on going and uh, and um, uh, keep on going at home sometimes at five even uh, other people could think you you let them stand in in the rain so uh, that's a little bit of a challenge if you're not then you're just uh, on the main road and you're serving for everybody and uh, yeah, and uh, the part of you who wants to have connection uh, can uh, feels uh, like um, how we say that in English uh, feels uh, it's a lack of connection. Then you could uh, feel uh, the more you only on the main road. So, uh, what is the biggest hurdle? And what situation do you avoid? Yeah, I think it's a part of um, what I said just before. The yes and no part. How many times you say yes? How many times you say no? Is this equal? So uh, uh, to really have both yes and no in a, in a good in a good counter in a good weight uh, in a good uh, yeah, we say, weight we say mm -hmm. balance uh, balance in a good balance that's that's a challenge for you and uh, and uh, the more you have that when i look at this hand this is i see more yes as no's that you are uh, giving to other people and uh, this could drain you and so uh, even you like to work you committed to the work you love the work you passionate for it but it's still also a time for life for you and to place some no's would be a recommendation from your hands and then to have more time for your love life and time uh, for other hobbies and whatever you want to do in your life and to go sometimes in your cabin as well this is also a part of you that wants to be alone because you have two heart type the other part is also the lawyer, private, in control, independent one. So uh, that's also a, a push pulling inside of you. Uh, you want to give and you want to have connection, but you want to be alone as well. By the way, I have that too. So I know about this push pulling, closeness and distance uh, voice. So uh, both need to be nurtured in new life. So to have time alone for you would be as well very important so how can I bring this all on the table and to place it in a way that uh, each one has an equal time and right to live uh, 
that's uh, what is the biggest dilemma in life. Yeah, one dilemma is uh, uh, is one part in, in you wants to be sometimes really irresponsible and just to be for yourself and the other part is really responsible and wants to be for everybody uh, there so that's the you and the me first uh, dilemma the hard line is the you first and the other hard line the left line is the me first so there is a you and the me first dilemma uh, that I see that is actually uh, pretty strong there and uh, and the part of um, what is a dilemma as well is you like to make things right to be focused on one thing in your life and to keep on going and finish it but there's another energy in your hand that you would like also you have thousand ideas and you would as well to be parallel on ten other ideas so you want to do it perfect and one thing but on the other hand there are no other ten ideas and projects that are waiting for you so the dilemma of, of uh, being on one track and being on five seven other tracks that are attractive for you as, as well to pursue and to discover and to see if it's there are also some goodies in it so that's <laughs> also a dilemma what I see in your hand um, uh, yeah this push pulling of one thing and ten things what can you name one more yeah, it seems like there's a, a few that I see but uh, I'd, I'd be curious to see if you could just, you're on that he discussed a few, so I might as well if you discuss mm -hmm. a few, to be fair. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is uh, two things. Um, <coughs> one part... Uh, like we haven't discussed the headline or the uh, um, uh, any of the... Uh, well, I shouldn't say anything, mm -hmm. but... Um, well, uh, what... Um, Another dilemma is for me uh, uh, the playful part inside you uh, that wants to be a little bit extroverted, so playful, uh, um, a little bit childish, easy, in a light energy, mm -hmm. and the other part is earthy, not extroverted, more down to earth, heavy and a uh, little bit dry so there's a dry part inside you heavy correct down to earth and another side that is joyful playful and uh, let's say uh, um, not considering about the right or the wrong and just just do it and so this is also one a dilemma that I see in this hand. Yeah. Yeah, I think these are three, three dilemmas that I see. That are, uh, yeah, the other, but the you and the me first. I said the egoistic part and not to be egoistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the one who, are, who for me at the moment jumps out. Yeah. Do we have no? Uh, what is your life purpose? The life purpose, yeah, that's the main part. Is for you uh, putting here is really be in service for something. So uh, it's like you need to be dedicated completely with with your life, what you are doing. Like I'm having that too. So like I'm serving for the hand. So my time, my ego is for something so putting your ego for a higher purpose and uh, so making yourself less important and like the hand or the what i'm doing is more important as my personality so to have something that is more important as as you and this is a, an urge inside you and to be in a way 
really creative and, uh, and different. So uh, it's, it's a high creative urge inside you. Precision, precise, creative individuality who, who is uh, really dedicated uh, for whatever you are doing. So um, that's the, uh, the life purpose. Be in service for something. Like uh, Jane Goodall, she was giving her life for for the apes, for gorilla, uh, gorillas. I no, for the apes, I think. Yeah. So giving your life for someone, like if you would be a priest giving your life for Jesus. So in this in this kind of uh, way is your life purpose, and mm -hmm. this satisfied you in a deep soul level for you. So yeah, giving your life for. Point, point, point. That's the life purpose. Okay, I think we went, we all have everything. Yeah. And um, he gave me a, a question, um, but I won't ask that question until we finish doing the other reading because I don't oh. want to reveal who it is mm -hmm. until we uh, do uh, the partner.